Bienvenue à tous. Welcome to our international press view here on France 24 today with the one and only Nadia Shabi. Nadia, Hello. very serious subject to start with, though. Chad. Absolutely. With some photos from the International Herald Tribune, um, these pictures of the central market will be coming up on screen in N'Djamena, Chad's capital that's been left in ruins after three days face-off um, between the uh, government troops and rebels. Um, what you're seeing there is soldiers who are clearing the capital of what they call the garbage on the streets. That's the bodies of the rebels that have been left to rot. Garbage on the streets. The garbage on the streets. So we're talking people's bodies. Absolutely. And they're being taken by dumpsters to mass graves. So that's what you saw just there. Um, and uh, basically the the, 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 the capital is left in ruins. People are finally coming out um, to have a look at, at and to get their life back, basically back on track. Um, we had pictures of of people in the market trying to sell potatoes um, with masks on because of the stench of death of, of these corpses that are left. Um, what did the uh, obviously you mentioned the International Herald Tribune, which is an American influence paper based in Paris, and we saw a picture there from the New York Times. I mean, what's the what's the kind of international view of what's happening in Chad then? Well, for for, for the International Herald Tribune. Um, they say the fighting in Chad capital ebbs, but big problems loom. And in fact, what they're saying is that the, the reasons behind the crisis and, and is the link between Chad and Darfur. Um, but uh, they look at the consequences of the fighting for the population um, as well as for the region. They think that it's going to escalate, that the crisis is going to get even worse. Um, and, and they see the region falling into a vast and uncontrolled conflict. They also look at the question of child soldiers that was used in this conflict, um, both on the regular army side and um, with the rebels. Do any of the papers make any kind of comment on France's role in, in, yes, in the whole Yes, absolutely. Issue. Um, we have uh, the, the Potentiel, Le Potentiel, which is a Democratic Republic of Congo daily, French language daily. Um, they look at how France's paternalistic role in the conflict remains to be answered. Um, they, they don't talk about the Arche de Zoué question here, um, but they do also believe that there's no way out of uh, this, this series of clashes. This is in no way the last. Um, they're also very pessimistic. They say every time you hear of Chad, it's in a bad way, um, and a country where stability and instability alternate. And what they look into a little bit in this, in this editorial is the importance of petrol and, and the fact that that is pulling the country down into chaos. Um, and that's something that the Cameroonian Le Messager also looks into more in depth, um, the role of petrol in, in this conflict. Um, they say the discovery of Chad's petrol resources in the 70s um, is what has created this situation. Um, and that they use this, this um, saying, uh, which is, I think is, is, is quite good, which is that when the elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers the most. And it is the, 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 the elephants that the power has got all the money from the petrol while the people in the streets are suffering and are getting none of it. When the elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers the most. Quite a philosophical way to end that segment there on Chad. OK, uh, lightening the mood somewhat. Kung hei fat choi to you, Nadia. It's Thank Chinese New Year. Yes, Tell us a little is. bit more how the press are looking at the that. The year of the rat. Indeed. Um, or the mouse, actually. It depends where you look. OK. Um, so, so what? what's your... Um... I'm thinking mouse. It's kind of less... OK, less and, and which year were you born in? I think I was... I think I'm a goat. A goat. Mm. I was going to say, but uh, someone <laughs> thought that I'd been quite rude anyway. Sort of, yeah. A anyway, very so nice we... goat, of course, Nadia. Carry on, We please. have the China Daily I'm Feng a rabbit, shui. by the way. But there You're we go. a rabbit. Yeah, apparently. Feng Shui, most prosperous year, is 2009, not 2008. There's some beautiful photographs there that you're seeing now. Now, um, but it's not a pretty picture for this year. According to astrologers, the year of the mouse threatens to see a build of international tensions, natural and air disasters, and a turbulent stock market. I thought so, we were going to end on a light note, Nadia. I know. It sounds as though it's even worse. So it's the year of the rat, and it ain't looking good. Thank you very much. That's Nadia Shabi, who's a goat. As I say, I'm a rabbit. Gunke Fat Joy to all of you who understand what that means. And uh, do stay with France Van Cap.